Hi, my name is Vuk Lungle of Klotz, and I'm here with Mutt, which we'll be showing at the Generation 14 Plus um, section in Berlinale. It's okay. <laughs> I kind of like the color of these. You want some gum, too? Yeah. All right. They're bleeding me dry. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Great, thank you. Uh, will there be anything else, sir? Uh, yeah, um, could I have the morning after pill, please? What? Um, the, uh, plan B, plan B pill. Oh, sure. Uh, but you should be more careful, young man. Thank you, yeah. It's actually not for me. I'm gay, so I'm just being a good friend. Hello and welcome to the 37th Teddy Award. My name is Jan Felix Wuttig and today I'm here with director Vuk Lungulov Klotz to talk about his film Mud. Hey Vuk, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, thank you for having me. Yeah, and, and thank you so much for, for Mud. I, I found it a very uh, a beautiful film. Um, it is about its this uh, trans man kind of navigating different, well, difficulties in his life, like reconnecting to his ex-boyfriend and waiting for the arrival of his father, also sort of reconnecting with his sister. Um, maybe you could tell us in your own words how the idea for the film came to pass. Yeah, I wrote it, oh, I wrote it like five or six years ago and I wanted to put a lot of my fears into one movie. I wanted to, you know, me being a trans man, there was so much fear around me when I was coming out and I tried to approach it with empathy and, and approach the people that were most afraid of, of me coming out, you know, my dad, for example, or my family, or even my own fears, like, will I ever be loved? Will I be accepted? Can I be a mentor now that I'm, that I'm out and trans? Um, so I tried to approach all the people around me with as much empathy as I could to really, you know, create a picture for myself of, of what, could be um and essentially ended up just creating a very a be beautiful movie that was based in fear but then turned out to be very like loving and supporting and about a character who's maybe more afraid of being rejected and is is very quick to build up walls and then realizes that the people around them you know are willing to listen and, and maybe they don't say the right things but they have their heart in the right place very true i i, I found that that translated very beautifully in the film in the, oh. in the sense that it really it had that story arc of all those all those fights kind of in the beginning of all those hardships and then kind of translating specifically in in the dialogue with with um um with the father um there, there's this transformation and it just kind of changes into well it, it kind of changes difference into love in a in a sense you know um, and I found specifically that that a lot of the power of the film um, comes from um, your your main character or your main role, Leo, and uh, mm -hmm. because he's just I don't know I've I've seldom seen somebody being so so at one with a role a as he is, uh, and and just tell us a little bit about how the two of you guys met. Yeah, it was a very long journey, actually. And it's it's great that you say that he feels at one with the role because uh, I think he really was. And that is the first time that he himself has played a role that fits him like that. So I, it took me like two years to find him. Um, I got, I, I reached out to two actors and had like, they both said yes and they both said no afterwards and like kind of used up eight months of my life and then I got really frustrated so I reached out to all the colleges and acting classes and Instagram like posts that I can think of and I compiled a list of about 120 names and um, of a lot of non-actors a lot of really brave people who were just very willing and excited to see themselves represented in a film and I found Leo he was just the moment I saw his tape I I was like, okay, great. I can stop looking. I can make this movie. This is this is gonna be fine. Um, because also, you know, 
already trans man is specific, but then I really, I wanted a mutt. I wanted someone that was mixed. So that was just another added difficulty to a very, very specific casting. So when I found him, you know, I, he flew out to New York because he was living in LA. We did a test shoot to, to see if this was the right fit. And I felt great about him and, and his, and his energy. And then we, we went camping together for a few <laughs> days uh, before filming just to, you know, really get connected. Yeah. So I think we started with a really good, like, um, basis of, of a friendship and understanding each other. And, he was incredible he just watching him gain confidence from day one to like week four and watching him transform into this like amazing actor like because being a lead in a in a feature is is a lot and it was his first time so like seeing him open up and, mm -hmm. and just he's so great i'm so proud of him and, and he just won um the uh, special jury award at sundance for best actor which is yeah that's so proud of him and yeah. it's historic and i'm proud that as a trans man he's getting this attention yeah it's it's very well deserved i found that he brings that strength to the dis different aspects of his role you know that that kind of you know tough tough exterior very <laughs> very new york as well very kind of you know but um also very vulnerable in the end um it's also um there's there's a variety of i th i i find um queer issues in your film that are not that often i find found in 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 stories about trans life you know like connection to family members in such a variety uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what was important to you in portraying trans identity in your film what was important about portraying it? I mean, everything. Um, I'm a trans filmmaker and I just, it's not that I, how can I say this? Let me gather my thoughts. I just really was so hungry my entire life growing up for a trans character. And it wasn't that that made me make this movie. I'm, I'm, I'm trans and I just wanted to um, have something that reflected part of my life to me and to so many people that around me that I know are really lacking a character that they can see themselves in. I mean, after the first time I showed it very recently, um, so many people like came up to me and were crying and, and telling me that I had healed them and <laughs> that they couldn't wait to show this to their family and that they had never seen themselves on screen. And it was just incredible. But yeah, for me, it's just important to keep um, pushing the boundaries and, and showing movies with trans characters that are, I hate saying this, but it's just true, like movies about trans people aren't just about trans people, you know, when I watch an action movie, I'm not an action character, but I see myself reflected in them or a horror movie, etc. So same with trans people. So I just wanted to create a very specific character. Um, that by doing that would hopefully have a universal impact and especially I wanted to create a character that was about in betweenness so a mutt that you know is half Latino half European and then also that is trans so someone that has a lot of um, experience with not always fitting in to everything um, mm. that was really important to me yeah I'm just meandering. <laughs> but <laughs> no, but it's, I, I <clears throat> also I can I can very much relate to people actually kind of approaching you and going. This has this has really given me you know like this has helped me a lot because it has those dialogues in the film that are just kind of you know they're just very much you you could take this film as a trans person and kind of show them to your parents and go like this is you know this is what it's about this is what it's like and i need you to understand if we're gonna have um a healthy relationship you know like and I, I love that because i made this movie for everybody but i obviously made it for trans people to see themselves in them and i'm so happy that the reactions i'm getting is that it is very accessible i didn't make it access like i made a movie as true as I could, I made a very specific story and I, I love that 
people think that they can show it to parents and that it is a movie that can start conversations because I think it's a movie that is really forgiving to all its characters. It's not punishing to the dad. It's not punishing to the ex-boyfriend and it really allows them to be human, be flawed and hold. My favorite part about this movie is that we hold a trans person accountable for their past mm-hmm. aside from their gender. So you just see them for the ultimate humanness and that's, yeah. That's what I want to get to in filmmaking. I just want to, you know, get past the coming out story and and yeah. just yeah, yeah. The 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 conversation between um, between Fenya and John sort of in the end is very real. Like it's very, you know, it doesn't it doesn't kind of shy away from hard topics in the sense that it doesn't gloat over any facts or that, that it doesn't glorify anything and mm. i can i can definitely relate to that um it's also kind of uh i felt <laughs> i mean from uh from my perspective it was also kind of a love letter to to new york as well i mean i've i've read somewhere that you had like 24 days and you visited i don't know 37 <laughs> places yes so yeah, yeah. What, what it was, was same. <laughs> yeah, um, I I've been in New York for about eight years now, um, working in Genie. I, I do lighting for for money. Hopefully, not as much now, but who knows? But I really um, have a very close relationship to New York, and was able to, you know, I shot in my one of my close friends bar and I kept the name and and kept it looking pretty similar and just went to. You know, I shot in the laundromat where I do my laundry. <laughs> I just <laughs> I just showed the New York that I knew and, and I didn't want to like I think by not having these grand shots of Manhattan or, or, mm. or kind of Hollywoodizing it, you just it just lets New York be a real version of itself and just kind of blend in to the background and I think it feels a lot more like home for the people that live in New York and they can recognize these places. Yeah. But it also kind of feels like, yeah, uh, you know, you want to be there. You want to be there like this. You, you show some corners of the city that are just, I don't know, you just want to live there <laughs> in a sense. It's, it's yeah. Come on over. <laughs> uh, I'll try. Yeah. It. It's, and you got to shoot in, in summer, which was mm. incredible. Because shooting in New York in winter, you don't want to be here. <laughs> that's well. also, that's cool. Yeah, it was great to like pull through with with my community and have everybody kind of come out and and help out. It was it was incredible. Yeah. I think um, one one last question would be: Are you working on a new project right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on two scripts. One one is more of a favorite than the other, but I, I mean, we shot this movie in September, so I've been running to finish it this past year. Um, but I'm really excited to finish up these two scripts that I have and, and hopefully make a movie <laughs> again soon. Um, yeah, I really love my characters. So I want to bring them to life. All right. And I wish you all the best with it. <laughs> thank, um, you. Thank, you thank you again so much for taking the time. Um, and um, thank you again for, for Mud. Uh, it's an mm-hmm. incredible film. And... I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in Berlin. (laughs) 